afternoon, wherever it is in your time zone. Welcome to the Mountain Kitchen. My wife and Debbie and I have a blog called The Mountain Kitchen. And today what we're going to bid for you is grilled cabbage. So we have some cabbage wedges here, which we have four of that we will be wrapping and into this tinfoil. But first we want to put some bacon on it. So we have some pretty thin cut bacon because it's easier to manipulate. And we're going to just wrap this cabbage wedge. The thin bacon works better than the thick because it's more flexible. Listen to the woman behind the camera. She's in charge. <laughs> so we get it wrapped up. Like I said before, we got four wedges. We'll be doing now. We're gonna hit this with some Creole seasoning or, or Cajun spice. Oh, I got a little bit on there, but that's good. Get it cooked down. I'm gonna be adding some onions, place them around. These are a good mix with the cabbage. And we're gonna be cooking these today on the Weber kettle for the indirect heat. We have getting hot outside. And I did this one pretty good. So we're gonna continue to wrap these and we'll take them outside. So follow us outside to the kettle when we do this grill catch. So a little tip we forgot to add while ago. We lift the core here, the stem and the cabbage. That way it helps hold it together while it's cooking. And then once you get it done, you can always cut it out. Some people like to eat it, but I think it's a, a tad bit. Welcome outside to the grill. Like I said, we have the Weber kettle here set up for indirect heat. We're gonna be putting these on here on the cool side. We're gonna be running about 350 maybe 400 degrees for probably 40 minutes an hour until the cabbage is tender rotating halfway through so you can see this side is closer to the heat so we want to give them a little turn about halfway through so we'll continue to cook these hang around Oh, okay. <laughs> it's been about 15, 20 minutes, so we're going to give them a little turn. I don't hear them sizzling in there, so they're not cooking too fast. We may let them sit a little longer on this side than we did the last time. See the tinfoil is changing color, so they're getting some heat on them. Grill's running about 350 degrees, which is good. We're going to flip them around and let them go for probably about 20, 25 minutes this time before we check them. Well, howdy. So let's take a look at this here cabbage. We turned it again. It's been on for about an hour. About 350. We're going to give them a little squeeze and, and fill them. They, they're getting tender. Here, that one there is way tender that one's getting yeah so what we may do is open one of them up if we can take a look at it and i need to get a fork i reckon from the kitchen staff staff train it looks Really good in here. Oh yeah, you can see. You can see the juices in there and the steaming. Oh yeah, they're definitely cooking. See it's starting to give. And I think because of the size of these, we're gonna turn them again and probably give them another 15 to 20 minutes. 
All right, so we let them go for about another 20, 25 minutes, and we can really smell them wafting across the deck here. So we're going to go ahead and take these babies up. I can tell when I pick them up, they're really tender. I feel them giving. Like I said, I can really smell them. My nose they're pretty good and, good and ready. So we're going to take them up here and let them cool a few minutes so I can taste one of them. Hey right, y'all, we finally got it done. <laughs> Just kidding. It was about an hour. We did good on this, I feel like. Uh, we did it on an indirect kettle here at 350, 400 degrees. You can add this to your smoker while you're smoking your meat. It will take a little longer because of the lower temperature. You could also do it in your oven until the cabbage is tender and you can see the bacon has rendered. And the onions are tender as well. So let's get a piece of this and try it. Oh, you can see how tender it is. I hope it's cooled off. It was really hot while ago. Get a little bit of this cabbage here. It's sweet. It's a little spicy. Get some smoke from the bacon. I would add a little more rub to this one. So if you want to season it up a little more, but it's kind of spicy. is a subscribe